Decades after a horrific kidnapping and murder that sparked California's three strikes law, the convicted killer is fighting to have his death sentence reconsidered. Richard Allen Davis confessed to murdering 12-year-old Polly Kloss in Petaluma, California back in 1993. The girl was hosting a slumber party with friends when Davis kidnapped, then strangled her in a ditch. At the time, Davis had a lengthy criminal rap sheet. His conviction led to the California law, which calls for life sentences for repeat offenders. Davis is currently on California's death row, which has been paused under a moratorium signed by Governor Gavin Newsom. Since the conviction, state lawmakers have also enacted new rules that water down the three strikes law. Today in court, Davis's lawyers made the case that because of that criminal justice reform, their client's sentence should be vacated. NBC Steve Patterson is following this story for us from Los Angeles. Steve, what exactly is Davis's argument here and how is the victim's family reacting? Yeah, Valerie, if I can, I just want to set the stakes for anybody that is maybe younger watching this. This case was an absolute blockbuster. I remember this as an eight-year-old boy in Michigan. This, of course, happening in California because my mom was freaking out about, about reading about this and seeing this on, on television, specifically in 1996 when that sentencing came down on Davis and this iconic, infamous image of him flicking the camera off, giving the cameras the middle finger as he's being sentence just colossal and to think that this is now the guy that 30 years later is asking for remorse asking to have this sentence essentially expunged and reevaluated is just incredible to think about so in effect as you mentioned there have been criminal justice reforms a lot of it has to do with the fact simply that California prisons have been overcrowded since then and so to deal with that a lot of politicians have gone into the structuring of sentences specifically in enhancements that were put on more minor sentences like drug sentences to have those expunged in essence to keep the populations of prisons a little bit more down the question that davis is essentially asking and it's a simple one is does this apply to a horrific murder a senseless crime like the murder of a 12 year old girl that is the position that he's posing essentially to a judge to find out if that sentence can be dismantled, restructured, and relitigated, essentially. The, you asked about the parents of Kloss. We know that Mark Kloss has been an advocate since his daughter's death. He, as I've been reading in reports, has been described as, as both furious and hopeful that a judge will not let something like this happen, but only time will tell at this point. Valerie? And Steve Davis is on death row, but even if he loses this case, if he loses this appeal to the judge, he won't necessarily be put to death anytime soon, though, right? He, he won't. As you mentioned, Gavin Newsom, uh, the governor of California, has not been shy about dismantling the death penalty in California. It has not happened. But there has been a moratorium, a stay put on essentially folks that are condemned at this point. So even if the judge says, no, you still have to be condemned, you keep, you know, essentially the same sentence that you had, uh, nobody is being put to death at this point right now. That is per this 2019 ruling uh, until maybe somebody else is filling that place in the administration. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.